Okay guys, so I've been wanting to film a stationery haul for you guys and I got a bunch of cute stuff. So I'm finally filming it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get to it. Okay, so the first shop that I wanna start with is a shop called Love Soup. And I got the cutest stuff from the shop. I got two totes and I'll show you guys this in a sec because I wanna show you what it looks like when you wear them. Um, then I picked up this cute little stamp set and I think it's just so cute. It has like boba, has like coffee. Um, it is really, really cute. And these are the type of stamps where you have to buy that acrylic block and then you stick them on there and then you can like put ink on them and then stamp. So I thought that was really, really nice. Love that. Then um, with her order comes with this amazing little newspaper. And I love this. This is like the cutest little thing. Um, it comes with just like descriptions of like the bag that I bought and the totes that I bought, I mean. And then just like, yeah, cute little things. I haven't read it yet, um, but it is super, super cute. Okay, then the next thing I got were these three washi tapes. Um, this one's like a floral one. Let me show you guys, cute. This is like a like an autumn home cute mushroom one. And then this is just like a different um, moods. Oh yeah, daily moods, love that. And then, here, let me move this aside. Then I picked up some stickers, let me see here. Yes, so cute. Okay, so I picked up some of her vinyl stickers. This one is like a cozy one. I, I thought it was perfect because it's like autumn and fall. And then this one that says take a walk. I want to put this on my um, water bottle. Then this one is like chips. Love that. I'm obsessed with chips. And then one that says no. Love that. And then I picked up this. Oh, yeah, it was a happy mail from I believe her Patreon. And it's from March 2022. And I thought it was really precious. Um, God, I'm ruining it, but. Oh, I love these stickers. Oh, that's really, really cute. And this like cute little postcard. And I'm planning on probably putting this um, on my 2024 journal. Okay, so that's it from, oh. Before I forget, I gotta show you guys this. So these are the two totes that I got. Um, I wanna try them on now, so let's unbox this. But this is a special collaboration with Love Suit and Knit 365. It's a really cute collab. So I guess I'll open the green one first. It's called Let's Call It A Day Tote Bag. So let me see if I can just like slide this off. <gasps> so cute, okay. Oh, it comes with a cute little like stretchable band. So let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. It is like the cutest tote. Look, love that. And then has like a lot of room. This one you can do over your shoulder. Like I'll show you guys later. And then I got the other collab tote which is um, dance. Yeah, it's called dance tote bag. And it looks like this. Okay, I'm back, sorry, I was getting a phone call. So anyways, okay, so this is what the second tote looks like. It's called the dance one. And this one, I believe has like two types of handles. So the one I showed you before was like a crossbody one. And this one, which is also really, really cute, this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Too, too cute. This has like a handle here and another like over the shoulder handle here. So this one has two. So this one is different from the other one and I'll try them on now so you guys can see what that looks like. But this one is bigger, I believe. Let me just check. Yeah. So the bottom one is bigger, the dance one. This one is a bit smaller and they are like the literal cutest things ever. Okay, so let me try them on now and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I quickly wanted to show you guys what it looks like and it looks like this. It's so cute. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, and this one, so cute too. I definitely wear it like this with like this long strap hanging in the front and then like as a top handle. 
Okay, so that's everything I got from Love Soup. I love everything that I got from her shop. And the next shop I wanted to show you guys was the Coffee Monsters Co. And um, this was a pre-order. And this is like her um, art like um, themed um, release. And let's start with the, sorry, it's getting kind of gloomy. Let's start with the fountain pen case. And this is the cutest fountain pen case. And I love like three fountain pen cases. I think they're just like really cute. So let's just take some fountain pens and like fill it up so that we can see what it looks like. So this is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Um, this is a Pilot. And then let's just use another um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim because that's what I have open right now. Okay, let's see. Oh, that is so cute. Guys, I say cute a lot, so don't be annoyed because everything obviously is just so cute. That's why I buy it. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. Wow, I can't wait to display this and just like have, I might actually be using this a lot just to like carry my um, fountain pens around because it's very, very cute. Okay, so that is the first thing that I picked up from her shop. Okay, then the next thing, I guess let me go through the sticker books. Yeah. Okay, so I need more like, like sticker paper books and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I have a lot of like loose stickers lying around because a lot of the times I like to cut around my stickers so that I know where to place certain things. So I need like these types of like booklets so that I can just like stick the stickers on them when I'm not gonna use them or when I, or if I decide not to use them or if I have like loose like stickers lying around, I'll pop them in here so I have everything in here rather than keeping like little bits of stickers all around. But yeah, they, Tra Traveler's Company obviously makes these types of like transfer release sticker paper, but um, Coffee Monsters Co made one and I had to get one, it's really cute. Then I picked up this like sticker book, um, a file, a sticker file booklet. Let me open this. This guy's really hard to open these things. I'm really bad at unboxing things because I feel like I always ruin it. Okay, so, oh, it's so cute. Okay, so I love like um, booklets. I use, let me grab it. I use the Hobonichi sticker booklets and I think these are my favorite, um, but I wanted to try out the Coffee Monsters Co one. These are my favorite favorite, but I wanted to try this out. So let's see what it looks like. And this, like, um, this, um, like, file, I don't know what it's called, is this, like, um, plastic is really nice. Yeah, it's, like, thick. Some stores, um, they sell this and, or, like, these, like, album things, and these are not thick, and the one she used for her sticker book is really nice quality. So that's what it looks like. And then you could just like fill it up with a bunch of stickers. And I love the cover. How cute is that? Okay, so then the next thing, let me just like make sure I moved everything. The next thing I picked up were some like sticker sheets. I love her bag too, look at this. This is so pretty. I just realized that. Look how pretty this is, I wanna save this. Okay, so. I need a lot of like vinyl stickers you guys because I want to decorate my notebooks for 2024 like the covers so I'm glad she included one I love bread and I do love bread so that's great um, I got a freebie sticker sheet cute then okay so I picked up some Halloween themed ones because obviously it's October now and this is like a package but like Halloween themed I got some Halloween mugs. Oh, I really wanted to use this. This is like um, 
like dates or days countdown doodles so cute i love that um then this like large cozy halloween doodle then i got these like large and bold doodles then this is like the yarn doodles really cute i kind of wish i picked up more halloween stuff so maybe i'm gonna have to look at her website um later and pick some more up because i love love halloween stickers and this is a cute postcard she included which you can um depending on how much you buy she, it comes with like a little coffee bean right here and you can stick them on here and then take a picture of this and then send it to her and she'll give you like um like uh some sort of like little gift so that's cute and then oh she added a little cafe postcard i love this Okay, I'm gonna like put this up on the wall. Okay, so that's what I picked up from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then the next shop I wanna talk about is Grumpy Nook. And look at this packaging, you guys. This is the cutest packaging. Um, yeah, so this look at this cute postcard. Okay, and this is what I picked up from her shop. Oh, all the way around. Okay. So, so, so cute. Okay, let's take this stuff out and then I can show you guys what I got. Okay, all right. So, first things first, I picked up this, I pre-ordered this. This was the Cozy Gamer enamel pin and it has a Nintendo Switch on there and it's so cute, obviously love. As you guys know, I love to play Animal Crossing. So I wanna like put this on, I don't know. I don't know what to put this on, but I probably am gonna put it on um, one of my like journaling totes, but this is the cutest pin. Then I picked up some magnetic bookmarks, the same Cozy Gamer um, like theme, but in the bookmark, in the magnetic bookmark. And then I got this like Stargaze one. Wow, these are like such good quality. I love this. Okay, so I'm excited to use that. Then I picked up this um, washi and it's also like a gamer themed one. It has a Nintendo Switch on it as well. And I actually have these two controllers, the pink and the green one, uh, so I can switch it out on my Nintendo Switch. So that's really cute. Then I picked up this, let me open this one because you can't really see on the side what it is. But this one is so cute. I think this is like the, oh, this is the breakfast one. Look how cute this washi is. It has an egg, a cereal box, strawberries, cute. And then I picked up this, let's see if I can open it. Yeah, this one is, just like a cute doodles one. Look how good these colors are. They're just so, they're just done so well. I love like the combination and everything. Okay, and then I picked up this like, oh wow, this is such good quality, this canvas. This little, I picked up this little pouch and it's like a coffee one. And look how cute this like gamer pin would look on it. Love that. This canvas quality, is very very nice to touch it is not rough at all it's almost soft and velvety so if you guys go to her shop you should definitely pick up um this or like one of her other canvas patches because i'm very impressed with this quality it's really really nice and it says approach with coffee love that love obviously love coffee then really really exciting i picked up a bunch of her vinyl stickers because, like, see, I'm gonna ruin this bag again and I don't like doing that. So I wanna save that sticker. Why am I so bad at this? I should get one of those, those cutters. Okay, so I picked up so many vinyl stickers. I'm gonna be loading up my journals. Okay, so obviously obsessed with the Cozy Gamer one, so I pack, picked this up. And her vinyl stickers are also really nice quality. I picked up this little trophy, it says you've got this, always love some motivation. This like cat and journal one, oh, I love this. I'm definitely gonna probably put this on my Hobonichi. Um, then I picked up this cute bookmark. I love bookmark, you guys, I love reading. 
Um, and then I picked up this sticker sheet. It's like a reading um, cute one with like, I think that's a journal. Oh, so, so cute. And then I picked up more vinyl stickers. <gasps> love this, this little sassy girl. I love the sardines one. I'm obsessed with this one. Look how pretty this is. Okay, and again, a bookish one and then a little cute kitty that's napping. I love this. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite one, I think. I'm, I'm obsessed with this little sardine can. It's like sardine tin really pretty and i just love the color combination so yeah that is what i picked up from grumpy nook all her items are just super super nice and the quality is really good this is the first time i've ever shopped um her stuff and it's the hype is real it's really really nice um, okay so let me put this to the side okay so the next shop you guys know very well from my channel because I shop there a lot. Um, it is from Yoseka Stationery, and I picked up a few of their goodies that they just released. So I picked up their Yoseka Brass Charm, and I'm gonna put this on my traveler's notebook. I'm obsessed with this, it's really pretty. And then they came out with these super adorable like keychains for their like Sailor and Yoseka collaboration. And I only own this pin, which I have right here. Let me grab it here and um it is absolutely gorgeous i just think it's just really really adorable and cute and sweet and i picked up all three because i couldn't resist when they showed this on their instagram and i was like oh my god this is the cutest thing ever i'm planning on putting these on like my keys or like um my journaling totes so that's really really adorable and then i picked up these like flake seal stickers um by papery plats and it's like a coffee themed one it is really, really adorable and I love coffee. So I collect a lot of coffee stickers and all those things. And then I picked up one of my favorite brands. This is Our Studio and I'm obsessed with pet tape. I think pet tape is like one of my favorite things to use on my journals, but um, this is their convenience store one and I'm gonna be working on my Japan traveler's notebook. So I thought this would like be perfect, literally perfect to add to my traveler's journal. And I'm just obsessed with pet tape. I, I mean, I love just, I love how it looks on notebooks and journals and everything. It's just like my favorite thing right now. So I've been collecting a lot of pet tape and this one is just really, really pretty. Okay, and that's what I picked up for Yoseka. It wasn't a big order, but um, they had a lot of cute stuff. Okay. Next place I wanna talk about is Endless Pins. Now, I put in a very small order so I could get the VIP um, status because I wanted, I was talking to someone on Instagram, which is, um, I think it was like pens and journals yes and she was um, talking to me about how to get the VIP status because I wanted to get some discounts on some fountain pens so I placed like two small orders so that I could get that VIP status so very cute okay so the first thing I picked up was like this washi tape and it's just like a cute floral one I did not know they sold washi tape but I saw this and I thought it was really cute perfect for fall and I picked up this other really cute one and it is a a cat's a grumpy cat's coffee one it is look at it <laughs> it's so cute and I love anything coffee themed so I picked that up and then I wanted to pick up a nib and I'll show you guys why. So I picked up this Lamy um, steel black nib and I'll put in the description which one it is exactly because um, I've been testing a lot of Lamy nibs and let me just grab one here. So when I picked up this Lamy pin last year, um, this one it came it was like a special edition it came with this steel nib and i got it in i got this an extra fine and this is extra fine as well um so this nib an extra find is perfect now the normal ef nib on let me see if i have it with me here okay so here here we go 
So the Lamy Extra Fine in this color nib, like the normal silver-ish one, I absolutely don't like. Um, it is so scratchy. I do not know why, for some reason, this nib is scratchy. On the first Lamy that I bought in Extra Fine, it was fine, but I tried so many Extra Fine extra fine lamy pins in this like this nib and it is so scratchy i literally cannot stand it um so what i found was that if you get this steel one it is perfect it, it, it's like extra fine and it doesn't uh scratch it's really really nice it feels more substantial than this nib so i picked up another one and my plan is to grab a bunch of these and replace all my lamy nibs with this extra fine one so i picked one up now because i want to be using um one of my pink ones or this cream one um in that nib so that's why i got that um replacement nib okay so that's what i picked up from endless pins hopefully now that i'm vip status i will get the discounts on some of the really good pens because i'm eyeing a pilot custom fountain pen so hopefully they have a sale and then i can grab that and the last shop i want to talk about is a shop that i went to in brooklyn um a couple weekends ago it's called leaf it's l-e-i-f and it's like a home store but they also sell a bunch of stationery too and it is just such a beautiful store like i'll link it down below it is just the most gorgeous little like lifestyle store so i picked up some really cute washi um this floral one it is really nice and these two they were so cute i picked up these two colors um let me see um i don't know let me see the brand um i think that yeah the brand for these two is called clap clap and this one is botanica paper co absolutely adorable i can't wait to use this and then i picked up this notepad i love notepads you guys i collect notepads i'm like obsessed i don't know why um this is the brand and yeah i thought it was really cute it's like floral botanical i'm like obsessed with those types of things i collect a lot of this like botanical stuff and i think it will look really nice with um the hobonichi botanical um yeah okay so i think okay so that's my latest stationery haul i did want to show you guys something that i got on my desk so let me take you there Okay, one more thing, one more thing. I just picked this up from my valet and it's an order from Nico Neko. I literally just got it and I wanted to share quickly with you guys in this video. So I picked up, let's see here. Oh yes, I picked up this La Dolce Vita transfer sticker sheet. And as you guys know, I love La Dolce Vita. So I collect everything that they do basically. And I just wanna mention that I love when shops include like a cardboard on like journals and like stickers to protect them from bending, which is really, really nice. Cause I've had some orders where it kind of got ruined and it's just like kind of disappointing. But again, her shop is great. So I order from her a lot and I'm so happy she included this. But yeah, this is the La Dolce Vita transfer sticker sheet I picked up. Then, um, this is special. I'll talk about this in a second. Um, then I picked up two pet tapes and a washi tape. So if you guys watched earlier in the video, I love our studio and I picked up their bedtime story one and it is really so cute. It's really colorful. And I wanna incorporate more colors into my journaling because I don't wanna keep it one color. I like minimal like looking ones sometimes too, but I also like decorating and that's, I feel like what stationery is about. So yeah, I picked that up. And then I picked up this Yeon Charm masking tape and it's like um, books and journaling. And I'm excited to use this one. This one is really pretty as well. Cute. And then I picked up this um, a Black Milk Project Home Washi and it's cute. It has just like kitchen and like a porch and like a little um, table by the window. And I think it's just really nice to use when I'm like, you know, not doing anything that day and I can put like a little home washi or if I'm just like doing or just chilling at home. It's really cute to have. Okay. And um, something really special. This is a, okay travel around washi tape designed by some sort of fern and this is for my friend um 
Bronte, who is um, Bronte Plans on Instagram, and we're doing like a cute little care package to each other for like fall and autumn. And um, she wanted this washi tape, so we're and I wanted this like cute Starbucks Halloween like tumbler, so we're like exchanging gifts and putting like a little care package together. But uh, Bronte, if you're watching, is here, and I'm excited to get it to you. Okay. Okay, so again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I put together my traveler's journal from our Rome trip, and I went ahead and archived it in this traveler's notebook binder and like filled it up with stickers, but um, that's my goal is to archive a lot of my trips and of course my journals. So again, I wanted this bookshelf to just like display my archive and current journals, and I think it just looks so nice, and I feel so like accomplished and fulfilled when I have it displayed like this. So again, for 2024, that's like my goal. And I think it looks really nice. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my stationery haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. A lot of you guys have been messaging me about specific video requests and I'm gonna work on those. Just make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.